Okay, so here I started off with the equation that I had. And at first I was confident that velocity would come after area, but I guess it has to be alpha. And I think you add, add or subtract that, but I don't know if you're supposed to. So I, I think I multiplied it, which is what I think you're supposed to do. And I subtracted x. I put velocity where the h bar is. T squared is right above, the, right after that. And motion times acceleration, x to the power of y to the derivative of x. The constant derivative of x, maybe even. Uh, semicolon x. And then uh, Newtonian space time times kappa plus ke times inertia plus energy. Then minus force times e, minus force plus e to the limit. And do that. E to the limit of x times the derivative of x in total gives you a spatial field that shows you where the kinetic field is. Right here is a kinetic field, and then in order to get out of the field, you need to access a part of force right around here that can go around this and then bend time backwards over here so that it can go around an inertable area and then after you do that a lot of this stuff is kinetics and a lot of stuff is stuff that you guys probably don't even know about yet but this this isn't what it's supposed to be right here it's supposed to be up, up here And the, the way I figured this equation out originally was in tangent, cosine, and tangent, or cosine and sine form. And what I did to it to make sure that the logic was correct was I square rooted it by the number one. And it became logic zero. So anything after that, but if it was one, it, would, it wouldn't be zero. So I square rooted one. And it was zero. So I don't, I, it's a toss up of whether or not this is exactly how it should be, or that's just the answer. Um, in the bracket, I have the congruency of wavelength congruent to half a wavelength in convergence with. Wavelengths. I think it's conversions or divergence. And then the rest is what it should have been, as I said. I mean, you're thinking, how'd you make up Z? How'd you make up energy? How'd you make up force? How'd you make up... I have a lot of time on my hands, people, and it does not bother me to make up things that are just random in order for me to have them. Um, Z is a plane that I knew about making in geometry. I would like to get credit for it, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Because uh, there's a lot of people that probably will figure it out after I, sh I shed light on what time squared is. It's right there. And then... Uh, D squared is somewhere after it, but I'm not going to show it out to you guys. You guys got to figure it out for yourselves. And the rest is what I thought it would be. It starts with X squared. And then, uh, I think that's a contingency. A continuance or a continuance. I forgot what it's called, but I know it's right in math, so... I, I drew it a couple times, so it was right. And it's congruent to phi. And I had, to, I had to get rid of the h bar, h bar right here because I obviously use h bar squared first. And I made it into velocity, so let me just, let me just cross this off. 
and put velocity and then motion time acceleration x semicolon x or xy semi colon x x this isn't anything X, I'll have to write it again. But this is most likely the easiest way of doing things in a spatial field. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is there a reason why you had to put inertia in there? And the answer is yes, because inertia keeps everything stable in the field. If it weren't for inertia breaking through the confines of the first kinetic field or the first kinetic rotation then there'd be no reason for it to be spinning in the first place or rotating or doing anything in the first place so I, i'd say yes it does have something to do with it and energy is already in there because it is a source of well it's a source of what you would call um bracing for certain types of dimensions. So I found this out all by myself. I am not a mathematician at the fullest. I went to a few classes at UWM. I think I might get somewhere with this, but uh, if you could, I would love for you guys I'd love for you guys to vote for me, and I'd love to see uh, if it's possible for me to go to school next year, knowing the things I know and doing the things I've done, because I can't get um, enough funds together to go to a good school or to go to a different school other than the ones that don't take except applications for scholarships and or universities and I am well I'm an older gentleman I'm a 31 year old man and I would like to go to school so that I can get my life together and get going on things that I need so I look forward to um that and I'd like to ch shed light on some stuff later on about how I made Z, or in the, if I made, I mean, it's not an if, it's how I made Z, in the plane of Z, and if anybody wants to counter it, I'd love to see it. All right, thank you. Have a good day.